Hi, I'm Sonia Choquette. Thanks for tuning into my channel. Today I'm going to talk about how boundaries are absolutely essential to having really strong and clear intuition, really strong inner guidance. But before I do that, if you're new to my channel, I encourage you to subscribe if you enjoy this lesson because I come back every week with new tips and tools to make your inner life more joyful, more powerful, and your outer world more magical. Now, today's lesson is really about boundaries and the reason they're so important in being intuitive. Boundaries basically are just, it's an energetic field of awareness that says, this works for me and that doesn't. This is mine, this is my space, and you're in it. This is my place, this is where I belong, and I have a right to it. Consider it like as if you were a beautiful flower in a garden. It is, it is the, the fence around the garden that says, don't step on me so I can grow and be beautiful and bring you all the lovely fragrance and, and color and joy of my being. Now, we are just learning about the importance of boundaries as a culture. You know, uh, it used to not even be a thing. Nobody talked about boundaries. When I grew up, for example, as one of seven children, I didn't even use the word I until I was in my 30s because I was always considered part of a we. And, and boundaries is something that if we don't have them, we really can't tell what's mine, what's yours, what's theirs, what's important. And intuition is the inner teacher that's constantly guiding you personally for what is best for you personally. However, here's the paradox. What's best for you personally, as a spirit, as a creative being, invites the best of you to show up in the world and bring your best to the world. So what's good for your essence, your soul and spirit personally is also the best for the world. So this is actually how you fulfill your purpose, which is be your best self, fully, freely expressing without being trampled on. So boundaries, the, the beginning of boundaries is the, the consciousness and the availability to know I have a right to my energetic space. Energetic space. It also is a right to my physical space. It's a right to my you know, personal comfort zone. I, it, but it really is all centered around this is where I belong. And it starts with I belong. I belong. A lot of people walk around feeling they don't belong. They're outsiders because they're not like other people. Well, you don't belong because you're like other people. You belong because you're a beautiful divine spirit that was invited here by your creator. And this world, you, you are part of and contribute to as much as anyone else. And it has nothing to do with fitting in. In fact, the first level of boundaries is I don't have to fit in to belong. I belong to me. I belong to, to my divine spirit, belongs to life. I have a right to be here and I have a right to grow into my fullest flourishings. So you have to just accept and believe and commit to that. That is the first level of boundaries. The second level of boundaries is I, first level is I know who I am, I belong. And in who I am, start recognizing what is true about you. That you don't need anybody's permission or you don't need anybody's approval to, to express. I am somebody who is musical and joyful or nurturing or creative. I'm an introvert. I like to go inward. I'm extrovert. I like to be with people. I'm, I bring good energy. I like to create. I like to write. I like to sing. I like to dance. I like to listen. I like to, to build whatever it is that moves your heart to contribute to put your creativity and your goodness in the world, that's the second piece of essential boundaries, is that I know who I am, I belong, and this is what I'm here to do. 
And the third piece is, this is what I need to do it. If I'm here to create, I need space, I need quiet, I need time, I need a little bit of, of energy, and I need support. So if you're clear about who you are, what you love, and that you belong, then boundaries actually start making sense. If you don't have that in place, it's just a constant second guessing of do I even belong and why am I an outsider and why do I keep abandoning myself to fit in, which is a betrayal of your boundaries. I recommend that you have this conversation with your best friend, someone who really loves you and gets you. The conversation starts with, I fit in and I, I need support in helping myself believe I fit in. So you both talk about and reassure one another that I fit in. If you don't have a best friend to do that, record it and listen to your own voice. I'm here, I belong, I don't need to get approval, I belong, I don't need to fit in, I fit into myself, that's what's important. The second thing is this is what I love. The second part of boundaries is to know who I am and the way you know who you are is to talk about what you love. Talk about it with yourself, talk about it with others, journal it. What do I love? I love fresh air, I love good coffee, I love running in the forest, I love sitting back and meditating, I love creating music, I love cooking, I love playing with my dog. Just know yourself. And the more aware you are of what you love, the more you're gonna protect that, which is what boundaries are about, protecting what you love. Your spirit in your body fitting into you and not trying to abandon yourself to fit into the world around you. And the third thing is, what do I need to be comfortable in my own skin? What do I need to be relaxed? I might need physical space, I might need time alone, I might need good healthy food, I might need quiet, I might need physical energy and activity, I might need physical hugs, I might need uh, ability to travel. And I want you to make a list of the things you need because this is what you're protecting. That's what boundaries are. See yourself as a beautiful flower, and who I am is what you're gonna flower into, and what I need is what your garden, you're gonna put in your garden so that you will flower to your fullest, full, fullest flowering, your fullest beauty. This is just the beginning. Boundaries can go on and on, and I will come back and talk about them a little bit further in future episodes on my channel, but for now, these three things, my right, to be here, I belong, I fit in with me, I belong to me, I fit in to me, I don't have to abandon to fit in with others. I have talents and things I love, I know who I am, I know what I care about, and this is what I need to express who I am. That awareness and consciousness creates the field that will protect you. If you don't know that, then it's like being in the middle of a highway and life will run right through you. If you write this down and you speak it out loud, it becomes even more powerful. And you will observe that life begins to shift and people start behaving differently. When you know who you are and you're not trying to fit in and abandon yourself and you're committed to feeling good about giving yourself what you need to create and be your best self in the world. So I hope these things help. Give them a try. Thanks for tuning in. Push the subscribe button. And I look forward to seeing you on our next little conversation about how to live a wonderful, intuitive, marvelous, magical life.